Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to add layouts to a track mode. Now some people call them themes. That's exactly what I call them, but they're known as layouts. And this is a layout right here. This is actually the Motion Blue build, one of the best builds on the market right now. It is super smooth, but I don't like the way it looks. And a lot of you guys have asked me to show you how to install new layouts or themes. So we'll go into Game Gear. As you can see, very plain Jane. I mean, I guess it's pretty cool, but I love the Robo Spin Love. There are a few themes built into this, or layouts built into Motion Blue. But what I've done is I've put it packed together. There's about 35. You can download it from the link in the description. It is a mega link. Go ahead, click on it, download it now. What we're gonna do is move to a PC. We're gonna download an application called WinSCP. We can connect to our Raspberry Pi remotely, transfer all of our layouts, and we'll come back here and I'll show you how to change them. It's very simple to do. Let's move to the PC now. Okay, so here is the pack I put together. It is a seven zip pack. You can extract it with WinRAR or seven zip. When you open it up, It'll look like this. There's 35, I think, I counted in here. The last one here, flat blue, needs to stay zipped, but it's not very smooth anyway. So, not sure if you want to use it. Hopefully in the future, when they update it, it'll get a lot better. But we have tons of layouts in here to choose from. Let's open up a browser. We're going to download WinSCP. You can download the installation package or the portable executables. I'm going to download the installation package. It's quick to download, very easy to install. So I have mine installed on my desktop. My Raspberry Pi is connected to the same network as my PC. Ignore these here. Click on new site. And in the host name, we're going to type all capital, retro pi. Username is pi, P-I. And password is raspberry. Click login. So when you log in here, if you're not at the very first directory, just keep clicking on this very top folder. And it'll take you here. There'll be a bin. And at the very bottom, you'll have a var, a V-A-R. From here, we need to enable show hidden items. So go to options, preferences, panels, and the very top option here is show hidden files, or you can press control alt H. Find home, pi, dot attract. From here, there is a layout section. Open this up. Now Motion Blue comes with a few pre-installed and it does have one of my favorites, which is RoboSpin, but we're going to add some from that pack we downloaded. Just going to snap it over here. Now, as you can see, some of these are made specifically for certain systems. So All Room N64, I'm going to drag it over here. All Room NES. Old Room SNES, RoboSpin N64. Now you could transfer all of these in here if you'd like to, but it's a hassle trying to scroll through all of these layouts when we go back to the Raspberry Pi. And I will do RoboSpin SNES just for this tutorial here. So now I have four new layouts. We're going to move back to the Raspberry Pi and I'll show you how to enable these. So I'm exactly where I left off. Now I do recommend plugging in a keyboard because when we're messing with the displays menu, it's just easier to navigate. This is already set up. If you press D on your keyboard, it will bring you to the system selection menu. And there are a lot of emulators here. I'll never play all of these, but it's cool that they're here ready to add ROMs to. If you want to change this menu here, press tab on your keyboard, go to displays, scroll up 
because it's at the very bottom. This is the displays menu. It's preset to motion blue 16 by nine. Now this is menu style, layout, or in my case, I call them themes. Enter and scroll up. These are all the themes you have installed or layouts. I'm just gonna change it to Novato. Press enter, escape, escape. Now, as you can see, we have a different style displays menu selection or console selection screen. So if you wanna do individual emulators, you can just press tab, go to displays, choose the emulator you'd like to change. But I'm just gonna go and show you what Nintendo 64 looks like right now. Nintendo 64, same thing, liquid metal, I think this is four by three. Press tab on your keyboard, displays, find the corresponding emulator. In my case, this will be Nintendo 64. Press enter, scroll to layout. Find the theme you would like or the layout you would like. Old room in 64. Escape, escape. And we now have the old room layout. Now at the bottom there, you can see the Nintendo 64 box. In the ROMs folder under Nintendo 64 or N64, there is a box art folder. If you fill that up with box art that's named correctly, the art will show up in the box right there on the desk. I'm just gonna show you the RoboSpin N64 also. Displays, N64. Layout. RoboSpin N64, escape, escape. There we have it. So I really like this style here. Press D on your keyboard. Now you can change all of the displays from right here or anywhere really. Is All you have to do is press tab and go to displays, choose the correct emulator, go to layout and change the layout. I also added Super Nintendo, I would just want to show you how it looks now. Tab, displays, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, layout, and I'll go with the old room SNES. Escape, escape. There we have it. So that's it guys. If you don't find a theme you like in the pack that you just downloaded, you can always go to the attract mode forum, sign up for the forum, find the theme section and download more themes from there. There's a lot of stuff on there and the guys are really nice. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. All the links are in the description for the layout pack and WinSCP, I'll also leave a link for WinRAR and 7-Zip so you can unzip that. Like always, thanks for watching.